I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a three crack, five crack, six and eight, and there's a pair of five cracks. In dots, we have two, three, five. In bams, we have one, two, eight, nine pairs of ones and nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play likely little odds, one, three, five, or maybe two through five consecutive run. We have no fours. That's why I probably would focus on one, three, five first. If we get fours, we could maybe play consecutive run, but in mixed suits, we wouldn't be able to use ones and fives in consecutive run. So I think what little odds one, three, five would be the best category for these tiles. And for passing, I'd pass that. Eight, nine consecutive run. We could maybe do that instead. Maybe that would be better because at least the consecutive tiles are in different suits. These two would be a little bit risky because of two, four, six, eight, but I think it's better than passing an eight, nine in one suit. That's I think what I would pass. So little odds for this set of tiles. If you thought of something different, right? Pull one and what you would do with these tiles. We have jokers, two, a flower, a west and a red dragon. In bams, we have a one and an eight. In dots, we have three, four, six. In cracks, we have one, two, eight. So we don't have any multiples. We do have a couple of jokers and a flower. With these tiles, what would be your focus and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on four numbers in a range for consecutive run. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We don't pick a hand, don't have to. We've got lots of discards. So you don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We're just gonna play at the category level and gather tiles in a four number range. When a multiple forms, we'd reassess. I think because we do have a three, four and a flower, we might be able to use that dragon, three, four dragon concealed. So I'd probably keep that. So I would probably pass those three, one, two, three, four consecutive run. If you thought of something different for these tiles, write pull two and what you would do. Look at that. 
that spread. No multiples. We have an east and a south, 5, 8, 9 in dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 in bams, 2, 3, 4, 5 in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on consecutive run, probably one through four or two through five. Usually I think of in mixed suits, focusing on four numbers in a range. Because if you look at all the hands in that category, there's only one hand that uses one through five and it's in one suit. All the other options are mixed suits or one suit in a short range two in a sequence, three or four in a sequence. So I'd get all the tiles between one through five and then when a multiple forms, reassess and probably narrow down the run to four numbers in a range. And probably pass those three. So I would just gather one through five when a multiple forms, reassess and build around the multiple using tiles to support it and most of my tiles. If you would do something different with these tiles, write pull three and what you would focus on. When you first get your dealt hand, identify the strength in the hand. That could either be multiples and tiles that support it or the predominant pattern and the tiles that support that pattern. The pattern being a category on the card. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>